Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. The mystery behind One Piece's titular treasure is something that has existed since the manga started. When I started writing this essay, it was going to be titled, Why the One Piece Will Be Disappointing, because of the two main points I had developed. But after doing more thinking, I believe there is a positive solution. In this essay, I will go over those two factors holding down the One Piece and the One Solution. The One Piece is this built-up mystery with an answer that is supposed to be surprising. So there's the mystery and the answer. Before I can explain why One Piece's answer won't be good, I should give an example of a good answer. Spoilers for Attack on Titan. AOT also had a huge mystery from the start whose answer was only revealed much later. That is, what's in the basement? Why was this answer good? Because the levels of craziness that were established before were limited enough so that this answer could outweigh them, but not break the story. Let me explain. AOT's setting is established as a low-technology, steampunk, apocalyptic setting where humans hide behind the walls from titans. The level of craziness went up when we found out humans could become titans. It went up a little more when we saw titans in the walls. It went up again when we learned that there were humans outside of the walls. It went up again when we learned that there were people in high places manipulating things behind the scenes. This brings us to the answer. The answer is that there was a photo in the basement. There's a lot this photo does, but I want to focus on what's relevant to my argument. The photo, along with the hints leading up to it, shows that the humans within the walls aren't the last of humanity and have actually been brainwashed and caged in. It shows that humanity outside of the walls don't live in an apocalyptic setting, and it shows that they have higher levels of technology outside, theirs being closer to the present than within the walls. This level of craziness outweighs all of the other levels before. In fact, it connects everything. Now, back to One Piece. This object is supposed to make whoever finds it the king of the pirates. Already, that's a high bar. Oda said that it's a physical treasure in an interview. Whitebeard said that the world would be shaken to its core once it's found. What level of craziness can outweigh all that One Piece has done so far without breaking the story? When Devil Fruits were the highest level of crazy, with the Nels being one of the strongest, I could have imagined some answers. An extremely powerful or advanced Devil Fruit was my go-to answer. Maybe a powerful ship. But with the introduction of all these new powers, those options aren't good anymore. We have Awakened Devil Fruits, Future Vision, the power to knock someone unconscious without touching them, the power to harden yourself with spirit, time travel, a giant dragon, and a giant Luffy. It would take a lot to elevate the level of craziness past anything we've seen so far, and I think there are only two options for the titular treasure, underwhelming or overwhelming. Underwhelming would be something that's not more impressive than anything we've gotten so far. Overwhelming would be something that breaks the setting and suspension of disbelief. What overwhelming options are there? Here's what I came up with. Control over fate and destiny, interdimensional travel, or the power to create islands. These could be executed through an object like a ship or a fruit. I had a few others, but they were too close to things that already existed, like time travel or invincibility. All of these would shatter my suspension of disbelief. Control over fate sounds too broken and godlike to be satisfying. Interdimensional travel probably wouldn't be impressive, considering One Piece's already crazy setting. And creating islands sounds godlike as well and wouldn't be that impressive because One Piece already has crazy islands. And that all comes back to my overarching point. One Piece raised the level of craziness too high in between its introduction of a promise and its reveal of the promise. Now, the answer of his promise can only either underwhelm or overwhelm. Another factor that creates this dilemma is time, which kind of ties back to the levels of craziness. When it comes to writing a mystery, the longer you keep the answer a secret, the more satisfying the answer has to be. I'm going to start with other examples first. AOT kept the secret of the basement hidden for a long time, 59 episodes to be exact, because the question was brought up in episode 1. If the answer to that mystery was that Grisha had another wife before, it would have flopped. My reaction would have been, I waited all that time for this? But because it was a world-changing reveal that lined up with all of the other hints, it was satisfying. In Naruto, the secret of who is Tobi was a pretty big mystery that lasted over 300 chapters. If the reveal was that it was some random guy we've never seen before, that would have been a flop. You spent 300 chapters building up the suspense of his identity and as a character we never knew? If this was revealed in 10 chapters, it wouldn't have been as bad. But with 300, the answer had to be good. And thankfully, it was. It was an established character that was never explicitly shown dying, but heavily implied to have died. Prior hints also lined up with this character. 
police didn't even dangle this in our faces as a mystery, but the answer to how did Ichigo's mom die was still satisfying. If the death of Ichigo's mom was a mystery that had been held out over 90% of the story, and the answer was just Grand Fisher killed her, that would have been unsatisfying. But the answer we get provides so much world building and changes how we see things, like AOT's reveal, thus making it worth the wait. My last example before One Piece is an example of a failure. In Invincible, Omni-Man kills all the big heroes in episode 2 and keeps his reason a secret until episode 10. He even ensures us that we'd understand if we heard him out. With all of this suspense building up, I expected a satisfying answer, one that could make me think, I disagree, but I see what you're saying. Instead, the answer we got is basically, I'm an elitist invader, so I think like an elitist invader. No human with a conscience would actually agree with what he was saying. If this was revealed in episode 3, I wouldn't have had a problem. But because the story waited so long, I expected something equivalent to Payne's ideology, or Aaron's ideology, or Lelouch's ideology, or Thanos' ideology. Something that makes me say, he has a point. This brings me to One Piece. The titular treasure has been built up for over a thousand chapters. It has been hyped up as world-shaking, and competent enough to make the finder the king of the pirates. What answer could possibly satisfy that expectation? All that time that was spent not answering the question allowed for the story to increase the levels of craziness tenfold, which will force the answer to have its level above those. So what's the solution? I'm sure many people will hate this, but I believe the only viable solution without rewriting the story would be to not show the One Piece. Don't ever answer the question, what is the One Piece? Leave it up to the imagination. There could even be a time skip of Luffy as the king of the pirates with his crew, but just leave the actual One Piece as a mystery. Why do I say this? 1. Critics, like me, can't criticize any flaws. If I don't know what the One Piece is, I can't determine if it's too underwhelming to be something capable of making the finder the king. I also can't determine whether it's too powerful or world-breaking for my suspension of disbelief. 2. The story avoids the very high potential of the answer not being satisfying enough. You might argue that no answer is much less satisfying than an actual one, but I disagree. Because of imagination. Now, each fan can come up with an answer that fits the story based on clues. The process of trying to figure out what would be the most realistic answer could even be more engaging than a straight answer. One Piece can get away with this because it was never a mystery story. There aren't many solid clues as to what it could be. The story isn't dropping hints to decipher the identity of the treasure. Figuring out the One Piece isn't one of the story's appeals. Everyone knows that we won't know what it is until the story explicitly tells us. The journey was always more important than the destination, or the reward in this case. I can connect this to other stories. In Pulp Fiction, we never figure out what's in the briefcase, despite it being a big part of the story. But that doesn't take away from the story, because the answer is not important to the story working, just like with the One Piece. Another in-progress example is the show Severance. There's a mystery of what the company even does. But I honestly believe that the answer should never be revealed because, just like One Piece and Pulp Fiction, A. The story works perfectly fine without us knowing the answer because that's not the focus, and B. If the story's answer is dissatisfying, that could have a strong, negative impact on our overall enjoyment by shattering our suspension of disbelief. Alternatively, if the answer meets expectations, that would be an even better result, but the chances of the answer matching the wild imaginations of the audience and the hype that the story gives is a nearly impossible task. I explained why for One Piece already. In conclusion, the One Piece will most likely be disappointing because the story has raised its levels of craziness so high that the level for the treasure will either be too low and underwhelming or too high and immersion breaking, and the amount of time the story has spent keeping the answer away from the audience proportionally increases the expectation for the answer. But if the story decides to never show it and leave it to the imagination, the story could avoid both of these problems. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.